Welcome to this Arnold Colourford Knitwear tutorial on tucks. What we love about knitting is that whether you've been knitting for five minutes, five years or even five decades, there's always something new to try. In this tutorial I'm going to show you two steps to put a tuck into your knitted fabric. First of all, what's a tuck? It's a fold in your fabric, here demonstrated with a piece of paper. You've got the fold line of the fabric here, but unlike a pleat, the tuck is joined parallel to the fold. So here's your join and there's your fold. A pleat is joined perpendicular. So there are two simple steps to add a tuck to your knitting and I'm going to show you how to do them. Here I've got a piece of uh, stocking stitch fabric that's just knit on the right side and purl on the wrong side and I'm going to create a tuck that's eight rows deep. So we're going to pick up stitches eight rows down and once the fabric is folded you'll have four rows on the top, four rows underneath and it will make the fabric eight rows shorter. So we need to count down from the current row. The bumps along the bottom of the needle are row one and we then count down one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So this is the row of knitting here that we want and we're going to start at the far end and we're going to put the needle in from top to bottom into the purl bumps on the top. If you see you've got a bump going over there and then under at the bottom there, it's the ones that we want are the ones that are on the top. So we're going to go from top to bottom through that stitch and then we're going to work along the row picking up all of those bumps. Make sure as you work along the row that you're always picking up stitches in the same row of knitting. So tucks can be used to shorten a piece of fabric or to gather up the length in an area. Isolde Teague's hat pattern Ripley uses a series of tucks to create the cloche-like shape and it's a really nice, adds a really nice layer of interest to the design. I'm a big fan of pleats and tucks and I used a whole series of tucks lying over each other in my nut hap that I designed for the Book of Haps. There we go. So I didn't pick up the stitch in the selvage at each end. You can see the selvage is there. I haven't picked up the stitch at each end but I've picked up all the way along that row of knitting. Then what you do is you turn it round and you fold so that the stocking stitch is on the outside and level up the tips of your needles and then with your working needle I'm going to work the one stitch on the end where I didn't pick up a tuck stitch and then you work across, it's a little bit like a three needle bind off, you put your needle through the front and the rear first stitch and then you knit them together. So through one stitch on the front needle, one stitch on the back needle and knit them together. Front, back, together. And you continue to work like that right across the row. Just watch out as you get to the end of the row because sometimes the last stitch or two on the double pointed needle can be a bit frisky and slip off. So perhaps keep a finger on them. Put the double pointed needle down and then there's one more stitch on the end that's not part of the tuck. If we straighten out our knitting now, <coughs> you can see that we've created a fold in the fabric. It's shorter than it was before and gives some nice surface texture interest to the swatch. So we've been through two steps for how to add a tuck to your knitting. First of all you decide how deep you want your tuck and you then pick up stitches along the row below and you then join them with a joining row. Hope you've enjoyed watching this Arnold Culliford Knitwear tutorial on tucks. Do look out for our other videos and why not try something new today?